Welcome everybody to another video by Sander for the YouTube channel Sander Rover and today we're actually cracking this Phyrexia All Will Be One Collector Booster Box. It's quite amazing. We actually have it, you know, All Will Be One. It finally arrived. It seems that the other stores already received it and are already selling it and seeing videos everywhere. Oh, the thick foil. Oh, I gotta cut it harder. There we go. Um... But yeah, this is my first box, everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm really interested on in seeing um, what I, what I might get from this box. I have not looked anything up actually, so I have no idea what's inside. But uh, I would like to um, talk about the, uh, well, as requested about the lore of this set. Let's see if there's anything. Because everybody knows that, uh, okay, is there a pull tab or something? Am I missing something here? I'm so excited. There we go. Yep. Um, actually, the uh, the lore of this set. So I'm gonna add, or, or I'm gonna try and talk about this. So here we go. Mind splice apparatus. Get the thing contract. So I'm not sure how to sort these yet. Ooh, whoa, oh, that's a, that's an interesting foil. That's almost like glass or something, plastic. Wow. Okay. I did not see that coming. I did not even know that that was in here. So yeah. Oh, we got the uh, normal version as well. Okay. So we're gonna. Well, I don't know if that's anything special or so. Then we got a. Versus Phyrexia's outbreak. It looks like the printing is a little bit vague on the top, but it could be me. Eh, nah, it's just probably me. It is a rare. It's a commander card by the looks of it. And then we got Conduit of Worlds. So actually, this is an interesting card because this, this adds to the lore, and I will get back to it. So let me just put it here. Um. Oh, and another land, Sea Chrome Cast Coast. Sorry, Plains. Ooh. Man, these cards are gorgeous looking. Shieldred Edict. Serum Snare. Okay. So we got a couple of commons and uncommons in the back, I guess. So, um, where's that? Oh, there's that weird foil. Common, common. Okay, so you guys know that they... Um, Mirrodin is new Phyrexia, right? So Mirrodin has been converted... And it now consists of certain, like, layers of each, well, Phyrexian leader, as you might want to call it. And we got, ooh, the Eternal Wanderer. That looks really cool. Man, that foiling on these cards. Can you guys see it on the camera? Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, the lighting is a little bit different right now because I am filming at night. So, I mean, that looks beautiful. Beautiful, man. Wow, I'm I'm gonna put that aside. I don't know. There are so many cards right now that I'm. Is this no? That's not foil. That's so. That's a normal one. Oh, then we got another Koth Fire of Resistance. Man, those plastic-looking cards are insane looking. Oh, we got another something back there. So yeah, so they, uh, the Planeswalkers, they came to Mirrodin, aka, AKA known as New Phyrexia, and uh, as soon as they arrived, they got hit by a shield or something that was surrounding the plane. So they got scattered, and um, they actually, um, so they they were scattered all over, and they had to find each other again. And Nahiri got wounded by an attack of uh, by the Phyrexians. So she was already flipping or turning. And uh, they, uh, they were actually uh, trying to get to the core where the Conduit of Worlds is. Conduit of Worlds is the staging area. Oh, there is a pull tab. Okay, cool. I just saw it. Um, there is a... Um, Conduit of Worlds is like the world tree. It connects to all the planes. And um, they have like an entire 
invasion force ready to go. And they have a Silex, which they... Ooh. Oh, man. Uh, okay, Miglos, and we got Mondrak, that's a mythic. Ooh, and this, well, seeing you dancer, but the foiling, man, it looks so good. It, amazing, amazing stuff, people, I have to say. And then we got a Monumental Corruption and the Seed Core. And we got Koth, the Fire of Resistance, like in a regular sort of a foil. Man, look at the staff on this. Dude, oh, so shiny. Island, commons, uncommons, or uh, commons and uncommons, yeah. So they, uh, in the journey down, so the Silex, they have a Silex with them. Jace has a Silex. And uh, Jace is trying to get, with all the planeswalkers, are trying to get to the world tree or the conduit of uh, worlds to. Get out of there. So there's a Phyrexian Vindicator. Man, look at the... Wow. Cool, cool, cool. Man, the foil. This... Oh! I'm not, I'm not even getting to the lore. By the way, if you hear a kid crying in the background, that's my daughter. She wants to do something probably and doesn't, you know, get to do what she wants. So she starts to... Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Izuri. Starker of Spheres. This foil, this stuff, this looks really weird. It looks so weird. Um, so we got Kemba's Banner, and then we got Zenith Chronicler. Okay. Kethek Crucible Goliath. I don't know. I mean, I have not seen any of the big hitters yet, so I'm, I'm a little bit skeptical about <laughs> how good this box is. Uh, oh, man. Oh, so, um, yeah. So in the end, or in the end... Um, they, they they go layer down layer down layer and at a certain point they reach a layer where Arjani and uh, what's the other guy's name oh Tybalt yeah Tybalt are completed uh, waiting them in an arena and they battle it out and um, Jace the perf perfected mind oh yeah here we go and um yeah, the fight is not going that well. So they Nahiri, in her last ditch effort, is dropping them down to the bottom level, White Sun's Twilight. Okay, Enchantment Varexian Arena. So yeah, man, oh, the lands are beautiful though, beautiful. Um, they drop down to the lowest level where the tree is. And, um, or not entirely, they have to go down to the tree and then they reach or they go into the tree and then there they want to have to, they want to die for detonate the Silex and Karn's in pieces there. And he says, well, you're too late. Kind of worlds. Here we go again. Another one. And we got Unctuous to grant meta. Okay. Meta, meta tech. We have a, we have a. Oh, we have do have a mythic back there. Two mythics actually. Okay, Quicksilver Fisher and a saw blade scamp. And so okay, um, Chris Scoria Forged Tyrant is a dragon. Affinity for artifacts. Flying haste whenever attacks attack, exile top five cards of your library. Kind of cost an artifact. Okay, you can artifact if you do. It has affinity for artifacts. So. Okay, so you might be able to cast it for nothing. That That's, well, okay. Argentum Masticor. We're going full-blown Staff of Completion. Ooh. <laughs> okay, wow. Okay, this is a pretty dark-looking card. Pay one life. It's, it's like a Staff of Domination, but then... Different? Yeah, there's Proliferate on it. Of course there is. Wow, okay, interesting looking card, everybody. Uh, then we got a couple of commons again, or uncommons. Hey, there's a common in this pile. That's not supposed to be there. Um, so yeah, and in the end, because Jace got hurt too. He was hurt as well. And then in the end, uh, 
Jay says the same words as Urza said at the end when he just detonated the Silex and um, yeah. Um, now I don't remember the words, but it wasn't good. And Elspeth, she was also part of the Gay Watch, jumped onto the Silex and transported herself somewhere, but nobody knows exactly where she went. So. Ovika? Oh, what do we have back there? I see something really cool, I think. Is that it? Oh, no, it's not. But it's still... Oh, look at this, man. Look at this. The, you gotta feel this. It's like completely plastic. And with the Phyrexian symbols on it. And uh, if a creature dying causes a triggered ability of a permanent to you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Exile three creature cards from your graveyard. Put an indestructible counter on. Okay. Whew, man. Oh, that. <clears throat> I mean, it's a mythic, but. Okay. Uh, interesting p pack. Um Zenith Chronicler, and then we got Ovilka, and then oh, beautiful forest land. These lands, man. I mean, I know there's the oil ones in the complete bundle that are going to be more awesome, probably. We've got still a couple of packs left, so I'm taking it easy, as you might notice. But I'm, uh, I'm trying not to uh, go through them too quick, because uh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to burn through the cards that fast, because... I just, I, I read on, or I, I listened actually to the lore story about this set, and it's actually, it's quite amazing, man. The lore that's still behind it. I mean, a lot of people think that there's not much lore going on. I'm going to put this in a mythic pile. I don't care. Um, it's, they're my cards, okay? <laughs> Norn's Choir Master, okay. And we got another White Sun Twilight, and... Iker Moon Gauntlet. Hmm. Planeswalkers you ha you control have zero proliferate and minus twelve. Take an extra turn after this one. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, choose a counter on target permanent. Put an additional counter of that kind on that permanent. Who? Put choose a counter on target permanent. And put an additional counter of that kind on that permanent. That can go... Man, that can go fast with... Uh, I think Planeswalkers? Does that count? Because they're loyalty counters, so... Technically, I mean, it works with Proliferate as well. So you should be able to put another counter on it, right? Hmm... Non-creature spell, so... <sighs> okay... Tyvar, yeah, Tyvar is also part of this, and he's got the ability to um, transmute. So he's got some piece of hex gold that can protect you sort of from the Phyrexian oil, which is highly uh, uh, infectious. Koth, Fire of Resistance. And we got Quicksilver Fisher. Okay, that's the uh, plasticky one. And then we got though, and then we got Roar of Resistance. It's actually a pretty good card. Uh, whenever one or more creatures you attack, you will pay two. If you do, creatures attacking your opponents, uh, attacking your opponents and or planeswalker they control get plus. T okay. Uh, so yeah, if they attack, you can pay that, and then they get plus two, plus zero. So you can do that many times. Any of your creature tokens have haste, which can be interesting. Mercurial spell dancer. We got a, we got some wood. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, no, uh, Elish Norn or uh, uh, any of the, uh, you know, Atraxa. Oh man, that would. Oh, if you would get that card, if I would get that card in Jace, another Jace, another Jace. Okay, and we got. Uh, yeah, I find this name a little bit weird because it says Conquer Bloom, but it, Cancer, it's like Cancer Bloom, but it, uh, it, it's kind of weird, but okay, I'm, I'll, I'll just take it. <laughs> and let's see, what we do have here, Uret, the Remnant of Menarch, 
Oh yeah, that's the me the mirror um, uh, the mirror commander. Uh, that's pretty cool. Bloated contaminator, and we got another. We got a land, and that's a swampy. Okay, so there's nothing really special. Nope. Two more packs left, everybody. Okay, I do have another video lined up after this, or not after this one, uh, somewhere this week, with another collector booster box, probably. Oh, this stuff is just so good looking, everybody. The monumental facade, it's a sphere. Oh, we have a Zopendril, okay. That's Hunger Dominus. And we got a, a rare uh, Kethek Crucible Goliath. I don't know what these prices are going to do from these cards, man. I have no idea. The plastic ones are amazing looking. Just, wow. Whoa, okay. Look at the artwork on this one. Look at the artwork. But, by the way, anyway, in the end of the whole uh, <laughs> lore thing, it ends there, though, but they all pretty much probably are completed. Uh, Elish Norn is, does ask them if they want to join or not. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's where it ends. Uh, so, we don't know, but they probably would not want to join. Then we've got a Coppoline Gorge, uh, Evolved Spinoderm, uh, Sawblade Scamp. I guess we're not going to see anything after this, right? Geth Summons. What is that? Swords of Forge and Frontier. Wow. Okay, so we got a Mirror and Safe House, but that's just... Okay, Forge of... Uh, a sort of forge and frontier from protection from red and green. Whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to play exile top two cards of your library, you may play those cards this turn. You may pay and play an additional land this turn. Okay, then. Well, um, that is, I gotta admit, that's pretty good. So, oh, almost knocked the camera over there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mythics. Is that correct? Do I have ten mythics? One, two, three, four. <laughs> this man. Whoa. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. We got ten mythics. A bunch of rare lands. And uh, a whole bunch of rares. And man, I have to say. I don't know what these are, but they are gorgeous looking. That, that, the dots, this is just, mm, you guys got to feel it. Anyway, thank you very much everybody for watching. If you're still here, please like and subscribe and uh, that would really help my channel. If you're in the Netherlands, uh, stop by my website, uh, sandrovo.nl, take a little look, see if there's something for you uh, there that you might be interested in. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Stay safe.